What's up guys, my name is Connor and today I have a for you guys on the two-tone Rolex Daytona reference 116523. I'll be breaking down all the details of this watch as well as trying it on. So if you guys do enjoy these kind of videos, make sure to like the subscribe button as it really, really does help out my channel and get my videos shown to more people. And also, if you guys are looking to buy anything, sell anything, make sure to reach out to me on Instagram at Connor.Langley and I'll be happy to help you guys there. But with that said, let's get right into the review. Alright guys, so first things first, before I show you guys the watch up close and break down some of the smaller details of it, I want to show you guys that I do have some of the papers for this watch. Here's a little manual booklet right here, I'll set that to the side and we have a little card holder that I usually put it in. And lastly what we're going to have is the guarantee right here. If you look in the corner you can tell this is a Y Studio Rolex, you guys can see the reference right here, 116523. And lastly, here's the extra two-tone link right here that I had to take off so it would fit my wrist. But with that said, here's the watch right here. You guys can see that it's going to be a 40 millimeter watch. It's gonna be made of steel and 18 karat gold. It's gonna have an automatic caliber 4130 movement to it and a very, very impressive 72 hour power reserve. And taking a closer look, it is gonna have a sapphire crystal face and obviously it's gonna have the black dial. And looking even closer, hopefully you guys can see the luminescent hands and hour markers. Um, and then around that sapphire crystal face, we're going to have an 18 karat gold bezel right there. It is gonna have a chronograph, meaning that this right here, once you press this, the seconds will start moving. And once you press it again, it'll pause. And if you press the bottom one right here, then it will reset to the top. Hopefully you guys can see that. And looking at the crown right here, right in between these two, you pull it out once, that will allow you to wind this watch up. You pull it out one more time and that will allow you to change the time. So right here on the back side, you guys can see the screw down case right there. And obviously the Oyster bracelet, it's gonna be two tone with the 18 karat gold center links and the steel outside links. And taking a look at the clasp right here, obviously we have the crown in gold right there, and it is going to be a folding clasp, so you just pull this up right here, you pull this part down, and that will allow you to open up the clasp. And just like other watches, this watch is going to be waterproof for 100 meters or 330 feet, so do not stress at all when washing your hands, going in the pool, or even swimming in the ocean. Trying this watch on, we can see the two-tone clasp right there with the crown in gold the oyster bracelet right there, in the 40 millimeter case with the 18 karat gold bezel, black face, luminescent hands and markers with the gold crown and the chronograph. This is a great looking watch. Um, and something that I hadn't mentioned for those of you guys who haven't owned gold watches before is these center links are going to be a bit more fragile than the steel version. Um, but with that said, it is a sacrifice that I am willing to make. I really like how the gold looks. And a lot of people don't wanna go all out with the full gold Daytonas, and they obviously do have a higher price point. But this is a perfect in-between for those who like gold, like steel, and do not wanna pay for an all gold watch. And this watch is a pretty good investment in my opinion. It seems like all Daytonas are going up and up when it comes to Rolexes, but so are pretty much every model right now as there is a shortage and the wait lists have never been this long for any watch. But obviously this watch is not being released anymore as they do have a newer version, which I believe is the 116203. But with that said, let me know what else you guys want to see on my channel. If you guys are at this point in the video, make sure to like, subscribe button, and let me know down in the comments, would you wear this watch? But with that said, I will see you guys in the next video.